Howdy folks and welcome back to Breath Edge with the Mighty Jingles. Big shout out by the way to Sammy Hallam for the animation and Seth Duncan for the music used in the intro. Hopefully we'll be getting some mileage out of that but for now we're still horribly lost in space and at the moment I actually need some electrical insulation tape and the best way to get that is from scavenging rubber and you can usually find rubber around, funnily enough, electrical stuff. The only problem is it's incredibly dangerous. I need shears, okay. Got my scissors on a stick ready. Here we go. Lovely stuff. I finally found a use for the chicken, by the way. <laughs> yes. Yes, really. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, I should be okay. Yes, you use the chicken. Spacesuit not included. Um to short out, well, electrical shorts. Hooray. Ah, I'm choking. I'm going to die. No, no. Oh, apparently I'm actually going to live. Right. Two pieces of rubber makes one thick electrical tape. And I actually needed the thick electrical tape to make a drill. Not entirely sure why I need a drill at this point, but, well, I'm going to need it at some point in the future, so it's better to have one. Next up. That limited oxygen supply. Bit of a problem. There's no data on the condom being suitable for an oxygen reservoir, but you can try to construct a simple balloon for distracting yourself from fatal thoughts. Yes, really. You know you hit rock bottom when you're having to use inflated condoms as emergency oxygen supplies. Well, technically not emergency oxygen supplies, but as an extension to my existing oxygen supply, which is pretty crap. I can only stay out for 50 seconds before I start going blue in the face. So, let's check out the blueprint. And there it is, one oxygen balloon. I have to admit, I didn't immediately understand exactly how I was supposed to use it. I thought that it would just be something I could draw 25 seconds worth of oxygen from when my main oxygen tank ran out. It doesn't actually work like that. There is something else that works like that. It's called an oxygen candle, and when you use it, it gives you an extra 40 seconds of air. Uh, but it's consumed on use. And there's one of them right there. In fact, there's two of them. Missed them on my first expedition to the giant inflated condom. But picking up one of the oxygen candles has now given me the blueprint of the oxygen candle so I can make more. And that one does work exactly in the way that I originally thought the oxygen balloon did. You just use it when your main tank runs dry and it gives you an extra 25 or 40 seconds. Well, the oxygen candle does work exactly like that. The oxygen balloon, not so much. And I still haven't figured out that I'm actually supposed to equip it and it's going to extend my main breathing oxygen supply up to 75 seconds. I also haven't figured out that I'm supposed to equip the flashlight either. I've actually built the flashlight. It's there in the bottom slot of my inventory. And what does she want now? Well, I say she. I'm not convinced it is actually a woman. But yeah, the flashlight was hanging around in my inventory for an embarrassingly long period of time before I figured out that I'm actually supposed to attach it to my spacesuit. But I suppose I should probably be philosophical about this sort of thing. I am crap at games, so you lot don't have to be. I'm trying to actually equip the oxygen balloon and then the oxygen candles in a tool slot. And I think I might have actually accidentally double clicked on the oxygen balloon and bang, there we go. Fantastic, I now have a 75 second oxygen supply. I don't know why I'm sounding so proud of myself. Let's face it, if EasyJet did space travel, these are the kind of spacesuits they provide to their passengers. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, I can now survive for 75 seconds in space. It's not much, but I'll take it. So this, of course, is going to allow me to travel a little bit further and have a look at some areas that I haven't already investigated. Can I scavenge some plastic from the end of that cable? Nope. Uh-huh. What's all this? And that's giving me the blueprint for a scanner, which I need, in order to operate whatever the hell that was. But this door can actually be battered down with my tool. Although it's got a fair amount of durability, my tool doesn't. And I'm down to 25 seconds oxygen supply. 
That's what the oxygen candle's for. And recommence the battering. But I think my tool's going to break before the door does. That could be problematic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my tool is going to go before the door does. So we're probably going to have to scoot back to the shell. Yeah, the handy scrapper is broken. We're going to have to make another one. So back to the shuttle, turn three metal into another handy scrapper, and then back to the mystery of the door that must be battered down. I didn't have all of the materials that I needed to actually make a scanner, so that little mystery is going to remain unsolved for a little while longer. The only thing I was missing was a light bulb. I know where to get the light bulbs now, but at the time I had absolutely no idea. First, however, let's see what's on the other side of this door. There can be no mistake here. This is working autonomous oxygen station. It can be used for long distance flights if you don't break it. Hooray! It can be used for long distance you flights. Remove the station by removing two screws. If I don't break anyway, it. Anyway, this doesn't matter anymore. At least now you have an understanding of how to assemble one. You have a set of its parts and a light taste of despair. Okay, so bad news. I kind of broke it. <laughs> good news. Now I know how to make one. More good news. There's actually an oxygen supply in this room. So you can kind of use this place as a staging post. Oh, hang on. Some rubber. We'll have that. Oh, yeah. I need the chicken. Hey, achievement unlocked. <laughs> chicken dielectric. <laughs> Seriously, these devs need to stay off the vodka. Um, but yes, I can use this room since it has its own oxygen supply as a staging post to go further however inside this room is the technology that you're actually going to need to get this well not the game but this episode of breath edge finished that oxygen station and the oxygen generator are the key because you're never going to be able well not in this episode of the game at least never going to be able to extend your oxygen tank duration beyond 75 seconds. I don't actually need them at the moment because I'm using that oxygen generator room to allow me to push out further like this. It looks like a mail delivery shuttle. Surely it was carrying a lot of useless things, most of which were stolen before loading. But the key to finishing this episode is establishing oxygen resupply stations, if you like, at intervals around the various different areas of exploration in order to allow you to top off your oxygen supply. I'm just going to suck on an oxygen candle. Actually, I have another spare oxygen candle, so while we're here, we'll crack open some of these crates and see what was on board the mail shuttle. But yeah, the trick is figuring out where it is you need to go, and then building a chain of oxygen stations along the way that you can use to top off your oxygen supply. I need to drink something, and all I have is a bottle of yellowish water, and yeah, that is piss, and I'm not drinking that. But I also need to breathe, so let's use up that second oxygen cylinder. Uh, sorry, oxygen candle. See what's inside this crate. Oh, that's handy. More oxygen candles. And, oh, an oxygen generator. Well, that's really good news. I mean, I have the plans to build an oxygen generator, but... I don't need to waste the resources on building one now, because I've just picked one up. So, let's get back to the shuttle and see what else we can do. First things first, though, I do need water. I've got some ice, which I can turn into water, so we'll go ahead and do that. There's one. And there's two. And then head to our inventory screen and actually drink the water. Right. So what else is new? Equipment, items. There it is. Oxygen generator blueprint. Now, I picked one up from scavenging, but I can actually build another one. And I'm probably going to need a couple of these. So I'll go ahead and make one. But there's another new blueprint listed under objects. And that is the oxygen station. There it is. The oxygen generator is what you actually use to recharge the oxygen at the oxygen station. The oxygen station is what you use to recharge the oxygen in your suit. May sound slightly complicated, but it will all become apparent very, very soon. 
Still haven't figured out how to use the flashlight though. <laughs> it's an item of equipment, Jingles. You just attach it to your spacesuit. Anyway, I need thick electrical tape for the oxygen station. And there we go. Now this is a large piece of equipment. It does use up a lot of inventory slots. But it's also a fairly essential piece of equipment, so I'm prepared to take the hit. And now all I need to do is figure out how it works. It is reasonably intuitive because it fits inside one of your tool slots, so I'm down to just over 30 seconds of oxygen and I have never been this far out before. This is all looking kind of new. There should have been a joke about fat people here, but it didn't fit into the screen's text field. Right. I should probably deploy an oxygen station. But there's no space in here. Shit. I'm gonna die. Wait, there we go. Turn blue. Confirm. And use. And there we go. To topping up the suit's oxygen supply. The supply of oxygen inside the oxygen station is not unlimited. But that's what the oxygen generator's for. It recharges the oxygen supply in the oxygen station. So I can pretty much explore around here. Well, not forever. But to all practical intents and purposes, I should be able to pick up everything of value and never run out of oxygen. In fact, I think the only real limiting factor here is going to be the durability of my tools. Where did it... Oh, there we go. Water. Nice. Oh, that's good. Lots and lots of water. Picking up all the stuff. The game will automatically generate a waypoint for every oxygen station that you deploy, which is very, very handy. Because it's kind of easy to lose your bearings. There we go. Top up the tank. Break this down and grab some metal. Right. Where to now? What looks interesting? And is in range. Bearing in mind I can't go more than, realistically, 30 to 40 seconds away. Well, what's going on here? What happened to him? Okay. A rotten shami kebab has given me the blueprint for something called an accelerator. You're going to like the accelerator. <laughs> it's a fairly unique piece of equipment. For now, however, I'm just going to top off the oxygen supply again. And take a further look around. Anything I've missed? Well, sure enough, my tools broke before I finished exploring that new area, but there's still plenty of oxygen remaining in the oxygen station, so I can always go back once I've constructed some fresh tools. Speaking of which, this is the accelerator. Now take a look at it. It's basically a pipe with a sort of... There's no real polite way of saying this. One end goes up your arse. <laughs> And the other end vents gases out into space in order to propel you faster. And that's what the rotten kebab's for. <laughs> there it is, the accelerator. And it attaches to your suit. Yeah, basically you eat the rotten kebab. And this is where I finally figured out that the flashlight was supposed to attach to my suit as well. But yeah, you eat the rotten kebab. Your guts start churning. You fart violently <laughs> into the accelerator pipe, which is up your ass, and the resultant violent expulsion of gas <laughs> accelerates you through space at speeds of up to 20 meters per second, which is a significant improvement over the 12 meters per second that you're able to achieve without the use of the rotten shami kebab assisted accelerator device which effectively 
extends the range at which you can explore. Now, the gas supply is not infinite. You do only have one shami kebab, after all. <laughs> but um, it does recharge by itself, although kind of slowly. But I'm easily able to make it back to the oxygen station now. With plenty of reserve oxygen in the tank. So, now I can explore even further from the oxygen station. The shuttle was flooded with paint during the crash. Even the service center wouldn't be able to clean it from the inside. It's impossible to repair it. The paint itself also has no value after freezing. I'm pretty sure I need paint for something as well. well hang on, what's this? The safe is private property, and the Global Funeral Agency is indifferent to the fact of its opening. The Breath Edge Global Funeral Agency. We care about your reputation. Uh, yeah, but I am running dangerously low on oxygen, so we're going to go back top up and then come back and investigate whatever the hell that was. Once I'm no longer in immediate danger of suffocating. The safe did look like it needed some kind of retina scan, however. So, I'm not sure how we're going to fool that. Right. Let's go and investigate again. This time heading straight there to conserve our oxygen supply. Oh, hang on. What's that? Let's go and take a look. Not the forward section of the shuttle. Uh huh. It's probably the owner of the shuttle with paint. He was engaged in illegal pumping during the crash, judging by the traces of paint on his hands, and a huge hose stuck to his face. We now have a pirate's eyeball. Wasn't there a retina scanner on that safe? Oh, achievement unlocked. I'm now a smuggler. Hooray. Oxygen supply down to 35 seconds. Mm. No, let's play it safe. Let's go and top up. And then we'll go back and see what was inside the safe. Right, we're back. Uh, this time we have the smuggler's eyeball. So we're going to scan the retina. Get the safe open. This chicken's amazingly useful. Right, thick electrical tape and lead paint. Now the lead paint is incredibly useful. It's an essential component for building the enhanced spacesuit, which has increased radiation protection, and you're going to need that increased radiation protection to get to the areas that you need to get to in order to get out of here alive. That's the good news. The bad news is you're going to need more than one piece of lead paint. On the bright side, however, while it might not be obvious, I do actually already have all of the equipment that I'm going to need to get the resources that are required to build that enhanced spacesuit and the enhanced helmet, which are the tools that I'm going to require to actually get out of here alive. And that is what we're going to be doing in the next episode, as I continue to boldly go where no far jet-powered drunken Russian cosmonaut has gone before. Um, in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one, and as always, take care, and I'll catch you next time.